Hey everybody, my name is Kendama. Welcome back for another video of NHL franchise mode. Uh, NHL 22 franchise mode, that is. We're coming back to it. In the last video, which was the first one, our very first uh, return, uh, we decided to play with the Buffalo Sabres. And uh, also, I tr I showed you guys a new roster the that EA decided to add up to the game. New developments and stuff, which is really good. Uh, you could download your own roster. So this, I'm playing with a, a roster that I downloaded from another guy that created it entirely by himself, which is fantastic, by the way. We got Owen Power. We got some people that normally aren't in the game that are there. And that's really good. Uh, also, we started off the season not too shabby, boys. Started off pretty rough, but we're starting to bounce back up. I did decide to... Uh, make a little bit of a different choice in terms of my fourth line. I decided to put Jack Quinn in there. We are going to be putting Jack Quinn in there after all. Uh, he's not doing good in the in the AHL right now. So instead of him uh, getting his uh, growth all beat up because he's not playing well in the AHL, I want him to grow the proper way. So let's just play him the NHL. Why not? Uh, it might be a bad idea. Or, or I don't know. But uh, we'll play him in the NHL, we'll ch test him out. And uh, for the AHL, if you want to see really quick uh, what it looks like now because of Jack Quinn be not being in there. Inestrosa is playing with Hayden and Krebs. I put Hayden instead of Eakin in the first line, boys. And we got Pedorka, which was pl played 30 games, over 30 games with us. Only played uh, put 5 points on the board, minus 10. Uh, that's why I decided to put him back into the minors as well. He wasn't doing good and I didn't want to hurt his growth at all. He's a good prospect for us. High top nine. So we'll play him the minors, boys. We'll definitely play him the minors. He's going to be able to grow over there. So let's start simulating again. We're going up against the Columbus Blue Jackets right here. Uh, we end up losing our first game of simulation. Not good. 3-0. Against uh, Colorado Avalanche, we lose in regulation as well. There's a there's finally a win right there. Uh, an overtime win, that is. So that's good. At least we're getting the extra points now. Because remember, we used to not getting the, uh, the extra points at the beginning of the season. Now we're getting those. So the only losses we are getting are in regulation. But we're still getting a lot of losses in regulation, as you can see. Owen Power is fully healed. Uh, was he not like he was already playing right that was a day-to-day -day injury yeah it was a day-to-day -day injury boy so no worries about that he's a 78 overall uh, i think he was already that yeah so yeah that was just a day-to-day -day injury so we're fine a five uh nothing win for against the buff uh, boston bruins we're doing good against the boston bruins so this is one of those teams that um we're not, we don't have to worry about too much. Do, a, a team that we do have to worry about is the goddamn Central the Sharks. They keep winning against us. Montreal Canadiens as well. That's really frustrating because we're in the same division. Last game of simulation against the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's a regulation loss. So now we're losing against all of our division team. Uh, that is not good. We went from being third in our division to uh, second last. This is how far you can go, boys. We cannot afford to have uh, to be on a record of three and seven. That's very bad. I don't know what happened there. My best player, which is Olofsson, started to not produce as much. And I think my fourth line is doing a little bit better because look at Jack Quinn. He only has one point, but he does. He is a plus one, so that it is not a problem. It's 5v5. I feel like my 5v5 is doing fine, boys. So. Don't know what's the problem here. Is it um, Tarkarski? You're going back in there. Tarkarski and Subin are both doing a fantastic job in the net for players that that stage, especially like 80 overall and stuff. They're really doing good. So not too sure what the problem is. We can look maybe like team stats. We'll see really quick what the what the problem is. We're not scoring goals anymore on five on five. Our five on five is starting to drop. Power play wise, our power play is going back up. It's still doing pretty decent. And our penalty kill is pretty good as well. So, you know, I don't really know. It's maybe just my 5-on-5 five five that is hurting me right now. If that's the case, we can edit the strategies a little bit. And make it so that uh, 
we attack a little bit more. I mean, my offensive pressure, let's put it at aggressive, I guess. I guess that's the only thing I can do. I'm going to keep it at trap. That is working out really good for us. Our four check, um, I guess that might be a problem as well. Let's keep it at aggressive for now. We'll put it at weed side lock. And we'll put it at aggressive for the offensive pressure. We'll see if that works out or, uh, or not, boys, for us. I mean, we have the season done now. Uh, officially, we have the season done with 41 games. And there it is. So that's two wins in a row. Once uh, we started rest uh, restarted uh, simulating a, a second run in a row against the the dead train uh, red the red wings that was three wins in a row but we lost against a pretty garbage team which the senator the ottawa senators it's kind of garbage but i mean we uh, we win again uh, once again after that it's uh, followed by a loss so that's basically win loss win loss right now uh there we go there's a win against the ottawa senators which is something i want to see more often so now it seems like we're doing better we're uh, doing a little bit better there we go so we're starting to win games right here, boys. Colorado Avalanche, we're even beating those guys, which is fantastic. Asplund got a... Okay, that was a minor day-to-day -day injury. So don't need to worry about that. And finally, but not least, as the Predators lose their co the head coach, they, he gets replaced by another one. Uh, there we go. The uh, Golden Knights, we end up winning against them. So fantastic, boys. 50 games played. Let's just simulate. That's the basically the all-star break right here. Which I still can't believe we don't have a single R-Star event going on. Uh, Peyton Krebs, our big-time prospect in the minors, is injured. He's going to have to get replaced by Pekar. And uh, Pekar is going to drop a little bit right here. Pekar is also a big-time, well, a little bit of a prospect. Top 9, but I'm not playing him just because he's not that good with a puck control. Not that good, boys, so keeping him uh, aside a little bit. And we got another injury in the minors as well. Fitzgerald got injured uh, defensive-wise. So now we got to put Laxonen in there as well. Let, uh, let's go in there, buddy. So we got two injuries for the minors. That's fine, though. At least it's not in the NHL. And uh, for here, I guess our last record, look at that, 8-2. and two. Really good last record, which puts us back into the fourth spot for the division. But the other team is stacked up. I mean, the we have the weakest division. We're in the weakest division, which means we have a spot. We have a chance to make it up there in terms of the third spot. But we're going to have, if we, we want to make it into the division, into the... Um, if we want to make it to the playoffs, we're going to have to be in the top three because uh, our main competition, the Metropolitan Division, they have the wildcard spot equipped already. They have all of it. It's going to be hard to beat, uh, beat the Devils and the Blue Jackets. Uh, it's really going to be hard, boys. So we really need to take a close or keep a close eye on them big time. Uh, I want to see really quick two things. I want to see, obviously, the team stats. Keep going uh, looking at it. See if I it upgraded at all. It did go up. Good. So it worked out for us. A penalty uh, or goals against is still the same. Power play is actually going up, which is a fantastic. A penalty kill, uh, I think, is going up as well. Or maybe going down. I'm not too sure, but pretty good. Alston still a good pl our best player right now in 50 games played. Uh, we also have, so Dylan Cousins, right? Big time prospect, boys. 21 years of age. He has 38 points, 20 goals, and 50 games played. It's only his second season in his career. And he has a really good season. He's having a, a really good season. I, I, I like, I, I'm liking it right now. He's producing well. Uh, we also have, uh, we got to keep an eye for Darlene. Darlene is bouncing back up. He's got 25 points now, so... He's doing much better than he used to be doing. There's a good, that's a good thing right there. That's going to be another loss. It's actually two uh, uh, similar losses. Three nothing losses right there. Not good, boys. I don't want to see those. I want to see us at least produce, getting some points on the boards, you know. That's the important part right here. So Fitzgerald will get back in there. And that's going to be a win against Toronto. There we go. I want to see some wins right here. Thompson is injured now. I'm getting uh, I'm getting hit by injuries, boys. 
I am getting hit big time by injuries. Go Cousins is now 84 overall. Cousins is really growing. But Middlestat still has a lot more puck control. So uh, as long as Cousins is in the 84s and he's not in the 85, which is the next level for me of competi uh, competitiveness, he's not going to be able to be in the first um, the first line. So uh, we got an injury. I guess we're going to have to replace the, uh, replace him with Caligula. Now Caligula got 83 of puck control. So... Rustalainen, Rustalainen, you're gonna go in the fourth line, uh, third line. Kagula is gonna be playing on the fourth line. All right, let's see. That's gonna be a, that's a, that was a win as well against the Minnesota Wild, which is uh, very good. Uh, another win against Los Angeles, and their loss against the uh, Florida right there. We can't get them all, boys, but as long as we get most of those wins, uh, we are gonna be uh, just fine. We just Got to start winning quite a lot, though, uh, as Tage Thompson is going to be back. So we're going to replace Cagula for Thompson again and get back, uh, get Thompson back into the third line. So that, that's a win against the uh, Golden Knights. Uh, Toronto, we keep winning against Toronto. So at least Toronto is our, in our division, boys. So we got to keep winning against Toronto. And we're doing just that. That is exactly what I want to see. Right, keep winning against these guys because they're in the race against us as well. They're in the race, so we really gotta beat the Bruins. Even the Panthers is still doable, boys, but they've got a lot of points. The Lightning, or forget about it, but yeah, we're not gonna catch up to the Metropolitan Division. So if we want to spot in the in the playoffs, we gotta win these games. And the Edmonton Oilers beating us, this is not good. And last but not least, the Calgary Flames, we defeated them right before. And we're stopping right before the trade deadline as well. All right, so 69 points. Nice. Uh, we're at fourth place, right behind the Bruins at 70 points. They got one game uh, played more. So we got one game in hand of them. That is a good thing. Uh, we have a chance. We really got a ch I, I don't. We all have a chance right here. Uh, Boys, we got to do it. If we want to make it to the playoffs, we got to make it to the top three. We don't have any other choice but that uh, to do that. So we got to win our division t uh, division uh, games. Uh, because the Devils and the Blue Jackets are going to make it. It's just clear to me at this point they're going to make it there. Uh, but a good uh, record. Last record, 6-4. and four. So we're still doing good. 51 points. Allison still our best player. Now, though, it is time... As soon as I, after I look at my team stats, I, it's, it's going to be time to look at the trades, boys. What trades are we going to do? Upgrade our team uh, and whatnot. So our power, our goals for is still decent. Power play is trending down. So power play is doing, uh, not doing good at all. Penalty kill, not doing good at all either. So both, all of those things are going down big time. So here's what we're going to do. In order to change that up a little bit, because we're not scoring as much, uh, we need to change it up. So passive box seem to be working. Let's bring it back to large box. Um, we're going to try umbrella for the power play. And also, what else do we want? I don't think I want to change anything else. I think my offensive pressures and stuff like that, it's, it's fine as it is. So don't need to change that. Next up, we're going to do though, Look at the player search, and it's time for us to first off we're gonna we're gonna see around our own team who's got some value, who would be good to trade. I'm not gonna trade away Power and Darlene, of course. And Power, as you see, he grew to a 79 overall. So next year he's gonna be able to play in the league, boys, for sure. Uh, he's growing fast. That's really good to see. I like that. Peyton Grebs is growing. All of our prospects are growing. Jack Quinn is now 79, uh, 79 overall as well. So he's growing fast. I don't really have anybody too much that has a high value. Uh, uh, all of them are big time prospects. I don't want to trade any of them. I mean, I do have Miller right here. Uh, top four D-man. Pretty good, decent D-man. He's been playing on the top two uh, pair the entire time. So he, his, his value went up because of that. Aside from that, I don't have anything. We don't have anything whatsoever. We could upgrade our goalies, but our goalies are actually doing great. 
I'm fine with the goalies we have actually. But uh, it is something we can, we gotta keep an eye on. So maybe we can uh, we can find something that could be good for us, boys. You never know. So let me let me see. Maybe first off goalies. Maybe we can find a better goalie. All right, we can try this. We do have Marc Andre Fleury available. He's got one year left. That is his last year of contract with the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Seven million, but. It doesn't cost. We don't care about the uh, the amount of money, boys. It's just the years, really. And yes, he's 37 years of age. But because it's a one-year contract, he's just there basically as an 85 overall. He's there as to be my new starter and really like help out, protect our team a little bit further, and maybe clinch the playoffs. Help us out for clinching the playoffs. Uh, I would give him Portillo, which is our prospect goalie, but he has, hasn't played a single game this year. I don't want to waste his potential. I want him to play somewhere that he's going to be able to play uh, like a team that's going to play him. And it seems like the Chicago Blackhawks are, are just that team. Uh, they might have a spot for them or not. I'm, done. I'm not sure, but Fleury seems like a good choice. I'm willing to give up a third round pick for Fleury. So let's see if that's going to go through. Not quite. So a third round pick is not good enough, boys. Uh, we don't have anybody that's not signed. So, yeah, we don't have anything of value, really. Uh, two third rounds. I'm willing to do that, but that's the maximum I'm going to do. That, I'm not going for a second round. I'm not uh, giving up a second round pick for Fleury, boys. So, Portillo and two third rounds for Fleury. Let's see if it, it goes through. It did. So, there we go. I might have overpaid even. I could have given up maybe a fourth instead of a second third. But... We did get ourselves a goalie. So that is really good for us. Uh, next up, we could try and find ourselves a Ford. So let's see if we can find ourselves a Ford. Now, I don't have a lot of value. Like I said, my players don't have a lot of players that have value. The thing is, I don't need to look too far in order to find somebody. We got someone right here. Pavelski could be a good center for us. Uh, really upgrade us overall. Yeah, he could be a good center, a good decent center uh, prospect, right? Uh, a good player. Another one-year deal, you know, another guy that uh, we get in there just for one year. And we only have the right for three trades, by the way, guys. You guys remember that? That is my rule. Can only make three trades per year. So that is that. So I guess what can we give up for him? I am not too sure, boys. That's the thing. Don't have anything that's really out of value. And uh, we only have... Like, our worst player is Ristolainen. We could get rid of Ristolainen. He doesn't have any value. And I don't really care about him uh, at all, boys. Really don't care about him at all. And uh, I don't want to give up, though. That's the thing. I don't want to give up any more draft picks. Because I already gave up two-thirds. But uh, what I could do is try and give up on these players like these t all these prospects and stuff they don't mean shit to me all right so maybe that and i don't know maybe a seventh a seventh front pick or something all right a seventh front pick that's not enough okay i i'm gonna make a go on a whim i'm gonna say fifth round pick but i'm not going higher than a fifth round pick okay no, I'm not going higher than that. Not going to be happening. Uh, I don't think Pavelski, we don't have anything to trade him, uh, to trade for him. We unfortunately do not have anything that is of good enough value so we can trade for him. So we're going to have to try and find something else that is low value. Last chance right here, we got Kevin Fiala, which has decent amount of value. And the only thing that uh, the problem is, of course, is Inestroza. Is he a is a right wing? Yeah, he's a right wing. So, for right wing purposes, we've got one, two, three. So one, two, three, and four. So Jacqueline will come back. So we could straight up just get him. We don't need to trade any right wingers per se. Uh, do we have something that we have too much of? Is definitely left wingers. We have too many left wingers in the team in our team. And Rosen is not playing. Rosen is one of those guys that it is not playing currently for us. And we're wasting his potential. Uh, I could probably have gotten 
Pavelski now I think about it for him though so let me see really quick I kind of want to try and get Pavelski because I could definitely get something better I could even get one of those actually you know I always go for Malkin but I never go for Bergeron though but Malkin's just better yeah Malkin's just a better player than Bergeron in terms of uh, overall and stuff so maybe if I try and go do that really quick if I try and trade away like Rosen get Rosen and uh, and get uh, as well we got in this uh, Ristolainen get rid of the Ristolainen that would be too much for them though for uh, for the for uh, the uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins so I can't trade away from them Zibanejad so could be one it's got some good value and 87 overall boys is 90 across the board everywhere pretty much really good player he's got one year deal uh, left Zibinija will be a really good uh, addition to our team. Let's try and get him, boys. Let's try and get him. Uh, so Zibinija, he's a lead player as well. Uh, if we can get our hands on him, that would be a really good addition. He is a center. Uh, but we cannot... Once again, it's a 50-50. So that's a problem, though. Is we cannot... Uh, everybody's stacked up in terms of their... Their roster, which is kind of frustrating. We can't go for uh, a center. Because everybody's got them stacked up. It's frustrating as hell, boys. Can only go for our left wing, to be honest. Otherwise, they're just all stacked up. It's it's annoying. So, right wing, I mean, we could go for healers. Uh, Peron would be a good one. But anybody that's like... Has value, low value, but doesn't have a lot of like years left but Pavelski is the perfect one because P Pavelski is an 85 overall I really want to try and get him again let's try and get him again boys and uh this time there we go Rosen we got Rosen they've got 50 50 uh I I guess I'm just gonna keep Ristolainen because I can't get rid of him that's fine by me but if I can get rid of him and you give me like a third in exchange or give me a third and Pavelski in exchange for Rosen. Is that going to go true? It's a bit too much. So maybe a fourth. So they give me a fourth boys. There. Oh, there we go. So that will go true. So let me see if uh, with a fourth. If I can get a fifth as well. A fourth and a fifth boys. For Rosen. I could. Okay. Let me try and bring it up even further boys. Two fourths. Two fourths. Is it going to go true? It would. Okay, so let's do it. Two fourth rounds and Pavelski in exchange for Rosen. Just like that, boys. And there it is. There it is right there. That, that is fantastic. So or we're just going to modify the lineups really quick, though, because we do have uh, some changes to do. So Ristolainen, you're going back into the minors. Uh, and goalie-wise... Subban is going back into the minors. There goes. So we've got Fleury and Pavelski upgrading our team. A bunch of veterans, boys. That's what we need. And we got basically got like some draft picks back. We gave up three, uh, two third rounds, but we gained two fourth rounds. So it's kind of even, even in my opinion. And now with Pavelski on our team, he's going to be able to play on the fourth line, which is going to allow Cousins or anybody else. It's going to allow them to. To take their time and not have as much, like, not make as many mistakes, right? So, that's going to be perfect for us. All right, boys. So, there it is. That's what I'm going to be doing. I I, I, ch I found the guy I wanted. Giordano. Easy. One year left as well. Uh, top four exact. He's going to drop fast. So, he's only going to be there for this year for sure for uh, with us. Unless we want him as a depth defenseman or something. And he's got some good value. He's got some good value. He's really there just for the veterancy and all. He's 84 overall. So he's going he's gonna to be here in exchange for like four prospects that we're never going to be playing. Uh, some decent prospects here and there defensive wise. But it's just a bunch of them that are not, we're not currently playing. And they're never going to play in our team anyways. So instead of wasting them, let's trade them away. And... Uh, uh, give them a better future somewhere else. Let's try and get a third round pick in exchange for that. Let's see if that's going to go through. Not at all. So uh, a bit too f uh, too much. 
If we ask for a, fourth, a fourth round, the fourth round of the Calgary Flames, that was accepted. There it is. So we got an extra fourth round pick, boys. So we get a lot of a fourth round. And that was our last trade that we were allowed to do uh, per my rules. So there it is. So we upgraded our center position, our defensive position, and our goaltending position. All of them have been upgraded, boys. Which is very uh, great indeed. And Bryson can now go back into the minors and grow a bit further uh, because of that. And we're going to keep Prow in here as our depth defenseman. So Giordano is now in here. Let's go back to uh, editing the lineups really quick. Yeah, Butcher is better than Miller. So we're going to put Butcher in there. Miller in there as well. Yuki Harju still growing. So yeah. So Giordano is going to be playing on the third pair, boys, with uh, with Hag, obviously. So that's going to be our lineups with the shootout. Now that we've got rid of Pryson, Pryson probably was a good guy for that. I, I'm thinking Pavelski would be a really good option as well. So Pavelski, bring him up. And I'm actually going to bring him up uh, well above everybody else. There we go. Pavelski is going to be our second one after Darlene for the uh, the actual shootouts. And I have, because of that, now we can actually put, instead of Fitzgerald, we can put in Bryson. So uh, Bryson's getting in there. He's 84 puck control. So let's see really quick. And power, we're going to bring him back into the second pair because we want him to be there. Uh, also, so it's going to be Schultz and uh, Bryson. Bryson is growing, so we're going to put him in there. Uh, and we've got power with uh, Samuelson, of course, and Pizik is now playing with uh, Davidson. So there we go. So we've got an upgrade overall for the DAHL as well. So perfect, boys. So that was our trades right here. That's the trades we decided to do. I'm going to keep the current trade block, continue the simming. We don't want to go in there at all. So let's see the big time trades. Calgary got him uh, traded away our first round pick in Pelsi, which is probably a prospect, in exchange for Klimberg. So Calgary got themselves Klimberg, and Dallas is looking to unload, boys. Interesting. All right, and that's it. That's all the that's the biggest trade you you've got for me, game. All righty then. That's not that big of a trade actually. So let's see if there's any trades that are worth mentioning. We do have Ryan Suter going to Winnipeg uh, and Raffle as well. So there it is. So Ryan Suter going to Winnipeg. Philip Dano got traded twice, by the way. Philip Dano uh, got traded to uh, the Islanders and got traded away afterwards to the Rangers. So he's still in New York. We just switched from one team of New York to the other. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff going to Columbus for Faxa and Radulov. Okay. Vegas is getting him some, uh, uh, well, actually, it's not the same trade, but uh, Faxan Radulov going to Vegas. We do have some couple of interesting trades. Pittsburgh getting Phil Kessel again. So Kessel is once again going back to Pittsburgh. All right, then. That is uh, definitely something. Philip Fosberg going to Columbus. That's not a big trade. You would think that that would be a, that would be a, a big enough trade that it would the uh, game would tell me. All right, then. Well, there it is. That's by far the biggest trade right there. Uh, uh, Fosberg going to uh, to uh, to Columbus Blue Jackets. So very interesting indeed. Uh, let's skip. Uh, let's keep simming right here. We're at uh, 60 games played. We're gonna keep sk uh, skimming. Uh, uh, we're gonna skip. We're gonna keep skipping until the end of the regular season. We're gonna do the rest of the season right here, boys. So simming it uh, all over again. Baden Krebs is back. Uh, we are going to get rid of Pekar and we're going to get uh, Krebs in here. There we go. Back in his first line. That's going to be two losses in a row though in regulation. Not good. Hog, that was a day-to-day -day injury probably. Yeah, that was a day-to-day -day injury. Don't need to worry about that. Now we're going against the Capitals. We actually won. Good. We need to start winning games right here, boys. We need. Oh, okay, that's a loss against Rangers. Another loss against Chicago. Seems like we're uh, falling apart, right? Yeah, we're falling apart. How is that possible? All right, let me bring back uh, my uh, former strategies then. And Giordano gets to play on the second pair. All right, there we go. Just like that, boys. 
So let's see real quick. That's a that's a loss against the Panthers. Islanders uh, fired their head coach. All right, so there's a win against Colorado, uh, Ca Carolina and stuff. Can we get a win against uh, them again? Yes, the second win in a row. There we go. There we go, boys. That's 70 games played. Okay, so our last 10 games, 4 and 6. I think we're out of the playoffs, boys. We messed up big time right there. As soon as I made the trades for these three big veterans, it blew me, it blew, uh, blew off in my face for some reason, boys. I don't know what to say. I made some trades. I acquired some draft picks as well. And I don't know what to say at this point. I am disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I, f I thought we would be doing a lot better. Pavelski is six points in 10 games played. It's minus two though. It's not doing good in our lineup for some reason. That is not good, boys. It's just not good at all. Uh, what about Jack Quinn? Is he uh, doing better, though? He's doing all right. Uh, so what's with... Okay, don't put Tokarski in there anymore, all right? Tokarski did his thing. Let me play Fleury. So Fleury played nine games. Absolutely atrocious for us, somehow. Okay. All right, let's see. The, uh, the Lightning, I put Butcher back in, and the Lightning, we end up losing again. And Hog is... Oh, my fucking God. Everybody's getting injured, boys, at the end of the season as well. I'm cursed. I shouldn't have made these trades, boys. I'm getting cursed now by the game. Uh, big time because I decided to make some trades. Unbelievable, man. Biting me in the ass. Why is, it, uh, why is the game doing that to me? There we go. There's a win against Toronto. At least we always win against Toronto. But I guess everybody else, though, we keep losing. And regulation... What the fuck, man? All right, Pittsburgh. Okay, I don't care about Hag. Please, like, stop for two seconds. Gets back and on, and it's, it's fucking annoying. Hog, get in there and do not be injured, please. Nobody else gets injured in defense part, uh, part please. There's a regulation loss, but not a, a win to bounce back up. But I think it's over for us. We definitely, we're not going to make it to the playoffs. No, look at that. For, to make it to the playoffs, we would need 10 more points. It's That's not going to happen, boys. That's just not going to happen. Let's face it. We've got six games remaining. Six games means 12 points. That would mean that we would at least need... We basically need to win all of our games. And hope that nobody else wins. That the Panthers don't win any games. That's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. The other teams are way too OP in the Metropolitan Division. I said that we needed to be in the top three and we couldn't afford to have a bad record at all. And we ended up having a bad record uh, again. And now our post are getting injured. Everybody's getting injured towards the end as well, boys. Uh, everything, like, I'm getting cursed by the game itself. It's uh, frustrating. It really is. But, uh, you know, there's only so much I can do about that. There's a loss against uh, the Senators of all people and a loss against the Devils. And that was basically officially off for us. That was our death sentence right there. And uh, Tage Thompson is now injured. So now we got two injuries. Uh, Arposo is back. So we can put um, Arposo back in there. And we're also going to put uh, instead right here. We're going to put back uh, Koguyala. Oh boy, everybody getting injured and we keep getting regulation losses as well. It's uh, absolutely atrocious what we did to our uh, the end of the season, boys. Yeah, all right. So that's another regulation loss. Oh, that, that, that's really bad. That's really bad. I don't know what how Fleury is that bad, boys. Look at that. We keep getting shout out as well. Oh boy. Individual stats. Our best score was... That doesn't really count, but it does say it's Pavelski, 33 goals, but it doesn't really count. He was there barely for about like 15 games or something. Uh, so the real best score of our team was Skinner at 28 go goals and Olofsson as well. Best player of our team, Olofsson, for sure, 71 points. He was consistent towards the season, the entire season, and I'm happy. That, that's a really good season for uh, 84 overall uh, player. That's a fantastic season. Pavelski, medal stat as well, talk. And Cousins, you know, 55 points, really good. That's really good production right there. 
Uh, for the rest, it's fine. For defensive-wise, Darlene did all right, like I said. And Giordano, Giordano, what did he do for me, actually? Five points in 22 games played. It's not bad. It's not good either. You know, it's kind of the, uh, the middle. And we got Fleury, 34 wins. But that's a, that doesn't count. I'm really happy about Tokarski, though. He was a really good goaltender this year. Uh, I just wasted my chance. I should have kept him as a main starter. For the main league, boys. Holy shit. Look at that. So we start off with the best goals. Uh, goal scorers. Ovechkin on top with 60 goals this season. That is a lot. That's a lot. 60 goals for Ovechkin. 57 goals for McDavid. That's unbelievable. After that, for the points, McDavid with the most points, 116 points. 101 points for Drysdale. After that, Skucherov, Kane, Crosby, Ovech Ovechkin, Voracek, Dubrincat, and Genzel. All these players, boys. So, yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. A lot of pointers this year, boys. Lots of players uh, with high points. Tyson Berry, 78 points. Yeah, the the, the uh, Edmonton Oilers had a lot of high production players. That's crazy. Quinn, uh, Quinn Hughes having a good season. All right. And that's pretty much that. Uh, when you look at, uh, I guess, the rookie skaters, Seth Jarvis is actually uh, ended up being the best rookie skater, boys, with 73 points and 82 games played. That's crazy. With Dawson Mercer as well in there so that's pretty decent for the rest goalie wise uh we've got Vasilevsky with the most amount of wins 43 wins 40 wins for Mike Smith I guess we ended up with one of the best goalies of the season but he ended up playing horrible for us at the end there so it didn't really matter too much so I guess we're gonna end the video right here boys we'll see in the next video who wins the cup we'll go into the free agency and stuff like that very unfortunate that we did not go to the playoffs. But I was not really expecting us to make it that far either anyways. So definitely upgrade our team for the next season. So remember to leave a like and subscribe to the interview. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.